was people who are critical, who are affected, who are having respiratory failure, those are the people who have a decreased immune response, who have a crashed immunity, who have a weak immunity. So what can we do for good immunity? You have to self-analyze if, if you want to put yourself in a test. What is the risk of me getting a coronavirus? If you are getting fever or cold too frequent, it means you do not have a good immunity. You have higher risk factor. If you drink, if you smoke, you have a high risk factor. If you don't exercise, you have a high risk factor. If you have not prepared your body by uh, going through stressful situations in a controlled environment like intermittent fasting or long term fasting, your immunity might be pretty low. If you are deficient in vitamin D, if you are deficient in multivitamins, all the vitamins and minerals, you are probably high at risk. So what I suggest is, let's start with vitamin D. Try spending some time in sun every day. It will increase your levels of vitamin D. Vitamin D is very vital for your immunity. Or you can have a supplement for vitamin D. I would suggest that you take about 1.5 lakh international units in the first week if you are deficient. In the first week, uh, let's say every other day, you take 50,000 units. And from then on, you take 50,000 international units of vitamin D on a weekly basis. So that ranges from about 2 to 3 lakh international units per month. That should be uh, somewhat reasonable dosage. If you're already having vitamin D supplement, then keep it on the consistent pace that you have been taking. Next coming to is omega-3. Omega-3 fatty acids are actually essential for your immunity too. So when it comes to omega-3, I would suggest a, a, a thousand mg in morning and a thousand mg in the evening. That is because uh, that is if you are already taking a vitamin, uh, sorry, if you're already taking omega-3 supplement from a couple of weeks or a couple of months or in regularity. If you haven't haven't had any supplementation of white uh, of omega-3, I would suggest you take 4,000 milligrams of omega-3 every day, 2,000 in the morning and 2,000 in the night. So that will be your beginning loading dose for one whole month and then you can taper it, or taper it off to 2,000 per day. The next comes is vitamin C. Vitamin C is very crucial for your immunity. You don't have to put mega doses of vitamin C into your body. Normal, you can have, I don't prefer the vitamin C that comes in tablets. So go for fresh fruits and vegetables and you can drink a lot of uh, lemon juice or the best sources of vitamin D is sauerkraut, not a popular thing in our culture, but having enough fresh fruits and vegetables is going to have uh, a positive effect on the vitamin C levels of your body. So now coming up to rest of the vitamin C, you can take a B, uh, B complex capsule and uh, other multivitamins also, that is your wish. I would rather suggest you have a heavy, strong diet. Now I have also seen people who claim, uh, who have no relevance with the world of nutrition and yet they just uh, on their uh, camera or on their mobile and record a video and tell people about nutrition and then post it in a full confidence mode. Uh, this is something generally I never like. So, what you have to do is <clears throat> get away from all the propaganda that is, you know, surrounding this whole coronavirus about eating non-vegetarian food. In the starting of this video, I have already told that coronavirus is now not spreading from animals to humans. It is spreading from humans to humans and we do not eat humans. We can eat eggs make sure it is pasteurized, we can eat chicken, meat, make sure it is pasteurized, we can eat fish, it can be canned or in fresh sources, however you like. Right from the days of outbreak of coronavirus, I have been consistent with my diet. I used to eat a lot of eggs, I'm still eating. I, I take non-veg almost every other day or almost every day of the week, I am continuing with it. There is no you know, uh, I, I'm not decreasing my amount. In fact, I might increase my amount of protein that I get from uh, these non-vegetarian sources in the upcoming days. What is most crucial for your body is essential amino acids. Your body should not be deficient in any amino acids. Non-vegetarian food has a complete amino acid profile. Vegetarian food, on the other hand, is not deficient in amino acids. You don't have to fortify foods. That is a thing of past. You can have a lot of pulses and so. 
But if you are low in the amount of protein intake, you have to increase your protein intake. Now you can do it from eggs, you can do it from chicken. I'm not gonna judge you. Do it as you like, or you can load up on pulses or dairy products. So it is totally your choice, okay? But I suggest you have a high protein diet. The next important thing in terms of nutrition for our body is essential fatty acids. We need a good amount of healthy fats, which is the good amount of healthy fats that we Indians love and the birthplace of that food is our own country. It's desi ghee. Use generous amounts of desi ghee in your diet. Not only it is a superfood, it is rich in vitamin E, vitamin A if you're using the cow ghee. It is rich in fatty acids. It is rich, rich in good amount of cholesterol that you need. You need cholesterol for your immunity also. So desi ghee also has cholesterol. Egg yolks also have cholesterol. So don't take out these fats include good amounts of healthy fats into your diet. You can use other amounts of fats also like coconut oil or olive oil, whichever you prefer. Stay away from refined oils, stay away from processed oils. So you need essential amino acids, so increase your protein intake. You need essential fatty acids, so increase your healthy fat intake. You do not have any particular requirement of eating high amounts of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are not essential, so let's keep them at bay. If you are having a plate full of rice, but only one or one and a half bowl of dal with it, pulse with it, you're actually loading up on more carbohydrates rather than proteins. So I suggest have little amount of rice, but more amount of dal. Have one chapati at a time, but have more amounts of dal. I suggest you also use gram flour for your chapati. So that is the best way how you can, in a vegetarian diet, you can increase your protein. When it comes to sprouts or roasted chana, go for it. These are excellent sources. Have some good amount of dairy. Have some good amount of cheese and paneer. Yes, cheese is a processed food. How can a dietitian say to eat processed food? Well, in the time of crisis, cheese will provide you with a very dense caloric value as well as good amounts of fats and nutrition. Yes, the fats will not be of an absolute high quality, but they will do the trick. So this was my two cents on this whole coronavirus situation, I hope everybody stays safe. Even if you get contracted by this virus, you have a 93% chance of survival. If your diet is good, your chances go up. If you are not smoking, your chances go up. If you are having a good healthy body, a good immune system, your chances even go up. If you're drinking, if you're smoking, if you're unhealthy, if you're a couch potato, yes, your chances will decrease. Again, there is no need to panic. The situation is in your control. You can change the outcome by putting in efforts. A lot of misinformation, so stay away from that. If you have any questions, uh, if you want to know more about what type of diet you are having, one thing you can do is, and I'm not going to charge anybody for anything that I'm, I'm going to help. Take a, take a piece of paper or you can text me on my WhatsApp or my Facebook, Instagram, or my Gmail, wherever you like. I'll send you a daily recall sheet. You fill that recall sheet, you write down all the amount of food that you are eating every day in the quantity. You send that sheet to me back via email, via WhatsApp, whichever mode you like. I will assess the sheet, okay? And I will let you guys know that what improvements can you make in your diet. Totally free of cost. I'm not charging you guys anything for the consultation or suggestion. This is what I can help you guys with. So uh, one thing I would like to add that uh, we were talking about the lifestyle. If you have a metabolic disease like diabetes or hypertension or any other autoimmune disease, yes, your chances of uh, getting uh, infected increase and your chances of recovery also decreases. So if you are suffering from uh, rheumatoid arthritis, is, or if you are suffering from thyroid or any other autoimmune disease you are suffering from uh, or you had a recent accident a road accident or a house incident which uh, injured your body which made you vulnerable for your or for a while or if you are on bed rest all these factors actually affects you in a negative way so you need to be more careful so if you think that your diet is good enough or not good enough, you guys can send me the recall form, DM me and I will send that recall form to you. You can fill it and send me back and I will assess it for you and I will suggest what kind of changes that you can make in your diet so that you stay healthy, your family stays healthy. And my best wishes are with all the people who are watching this video and also who are not watching this video. My best wishes that we overcome this adversity, this uh, pandemic situation and uh,
let God be on our side. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care.